Well, as expected, no matter how much oil you drain from that oil filter, there's still some in there. And when I rotated it off, sure enough, it made a mess. Um, so now I gotta clean it up and it's gonna be oozing out for weeks to come. So uh, we're ready to put the uh, new filter back on and here it is. Just like our filter, a little bit of uh, fresh oil around that seal. And the additional thing you gotta do is record the, the, uh, the date and the attack time on the filter as well. I mean, it's gonna be recorded in the uh, logbook anyways, but it's just a secondary uh, precaution. Okay, so the new filter is installed and you gotta torque it down 16 to 18 foot pounds, which I've done so already. Next thing, we gotta start filling it up and meanwhile we can uh, safety the oil filter the uh, oil screen which is uh, way in there as well as the uh, quick drain okay so we uh we fill up the uh, the sump again this is the second quart we'll just let it drain uh, i'm sorry we just let it uh, empty as much as it will go and then uh, i've been letting the filter hang upside down to drain from it as much as we can. We're going to put it back in the box that the new filter came in and then when we get the inspection done we're going to cut the filter open and inspect it for any uh, ferrous materials. Okay so here we are underneath the airplane and this is the nose gear section and there's one more access panel that we need to take off. This is what it looks like. Uh, the uh, nose gear actuator is behind that panel, and there are two little hoses. Those are the only hoses in the whole hydraulic system. So we're going to inspect those. In fact, it's it's time to change them. We should change them every 10 years. And there's a nose gear actuator with uh, the two hoses. There's one here and the other one here. I think this is the down, and this is the up. So they look pretty dry on the outside, that's good, but uh, as I said, they should be replaced every 10 years. Okay, so we're going to take the uh, spinner off, and the spinner is held in place by uh, five bolts on this side and five bolts on this side. And do be careful that there are some, uh, it looks like mica type material washers. So uh, keep the keep it together. Uh, the other thing I noticed is one time uh, the mechanic had put um, the spinner back on, and I noticed a little bit of a wobble right here. It was going like this, and I, I never had seen that before. So I, I took it out and we put it back in, and um, there was no wobble. So it looks like this guy was, you know, set one way. So what I do now is I put two little dots over here on this on this guy here and on this flange so that when we put it back together we know we're gonna put it back the same way as it came out. That's about it. Uh, let me take it off and I'll show you how that uh, comes out. Alright so I've taken all the screws except for one. Uh, so here it is. And it's got the, the little mica or perhaps fiberglass and of course into the bag it goes and now we're ready to take it out there's a rubber grommet that kind of sits there you have to tap it and kind of wiggle it back and forth and eventually it just slides off like that okay so here it is and there's that rubber grommet that i was talking about right here and uh, that's all there is to it Alright, so we have uh, eight quarts of uh, oil on the engine, and I put back the uh, oil filler cap so we can act, close that access panel. On the other side, I've safetyed, safety wired the, uh, the oil filter, it's right there, and I've safety wired the oil screen which is way in there, and I've also safety wired the uh, quick drain uh, plug right here. I put back uh, this uh, heater hose 
So that's tight, and that's tight down there. I took off this uh, hose for, for the oil air separator, so that's back on. I also took the hose behind it. That's also back on. And uh, we're good to go. We have to start up the engine, of course, and check for any leaks. Um, but at this stage, it's getting late in the day. I'm going to put the cowl back on and uh, call it a day. Um, we did quite a bit today. As you can see, we took all the uh, inspection panels off the wings. And back over here on the empennage. top of the uh, stabilizers. Underneath we have taken some access panels for the uh, electric trim. Um, on the uh, left wing we've also taken a whole bunch of panels off so that's ready for the mechanic to inspect it. And then of course on the inside we have taken inspection panels off in here as well. There's the uh, spinner ready for inspection and uh, tomorrow we are going to lube up all the pulleys that we can find and it's a good time to review your uh, service manual to make sure that you locate all the pulleys and there's quite a few of them. I also have to take the headliner off tomorrow because there are some pulleys along the door post here for the uh, ailerons and there's a couple of uh, small pulleys out here for the uh, for the frack cables. Um, and then we still have to take those uh, metal plates off so we can access and lube all the uh, rudder pedal uh, mechanisms. Uh, that's about it. Uh, it's been a good productive day.